All right, you guys told me about a diode on the um, on the coil pack, but somebody else, uh, Delmont Cruiser, had actually mentioned something about a neutral safety switch. Um, I haven't tried anything yet. I'm getting ready to, but every time you aren't sitting on the seat on this mower, it shuts off. So I'm thinking that that seat safety switch is what's causing it to not try and start up and what might be causing it to not spark. Now, still got the plug in the ratchet like an idiot. I got sidetracked on something else and left the mower sitting out here with the ratchet on it and the car battery that I was using to try and jump it off with all attached there that's in there and we'll just leave it right there put my key in and turn it on so you'll get to see firsthand if this works or not put my knee in the seat to hold it down like I'm sitting in it and jump her across the positive post. Oh, I already saw a spark. We have spark. We have spark. That's what it was. The seat switch. So I'm going to shut this off real quick, put the plug back in it, and throw some starting fluid in it and see if I can get this bugger to turn over. I always want to start these things in by hand. The screwed up thing with this one is it's in an angle. Well, shoot. It's a steeper angle than I thought. Okay. This ain't working so well. Let's see what I gotta work with here. There we go. Now it's going in smooth. Helps when you get the right angle. This thing ran really good. That's the reason that I'm wanting to salvage this motor. That and the fact that the, uh, the one on the John Deere isn't but a 14 horse. Snap that on. Alright. Everything's kind of slick because it's wet out here. Okay. Keys in, still on. Still got the air breather off the carb, which was kind of dumb because the dew's fallen already. So we'll hit it real good with starting fluid. Put my knee in the seat. Get my jumper cable. Um, <laughs> all right, 
when I started up tried to run it is I don't know how but it is a little full on oil but not so much to the point that I expected to actually see it blow out like that but that resolved the issue about it not starting now it was probably about a pint over the full mark so I'm thinking either that or that's not oil it's got kind of a gassy smell to it so this thing have may have more problems than I thought but that's progress and you see it didn't didn't drag at all since I've adjusted the valves on it get all this sopped up out of this tray but what I think's happened I didn't have any regular um, regular gas kind of out of money at the moment and I did happen to have a can with some two cycle in it and just to get the thing to start before I found my can of starting fluid I tried shooting a little bit of two cycle gas down there just to see if I could get it to crank up but the long and short of it is that I think that uh that seat switch was the issue because as, as you heard it did crank up and ran pretty strong so I'll get out here and dink with it a little bit more in the daylight where I can see what the heck I'm doing and in the meantime I'll uh, button everything up and pack it in for the night Hey, I like my little $9 LED light. That's pretty slick. I don't even know how many LEDs are on it, but it's bright enough. Anyway, well, that's that. I'm going to get everything buttoned up. Put that air breather back on. And we'll get out here and dink around with it a little bit more in the daylight where we can see everything. And try and figure out if that was just the gas coming back up out of the two cycle that I dumped in there earlier. Because I did put a little bit much in it. And if that's what it is, that's cool because it don't belong in it anyway. But... It did real good off of the starting fluid, so we shall see. Might have that whole issue resolved now and have the motor running good. So long and short of it, yes, it was the safety switch that was causing my problem. And Delmont Cruiser, thank you very much for the suggestion. That was perfect. I still got the thing running. It didn't cost me nothing. Didn't have to go buy no, any new parts. Now, I do know for a fact that's not the issue with this one. This one, the coil is definitely gone in it. Um, but I'm going to try what Road King was saying about uh, getting it out first and then putting the checking the uh, diode on it see if I can just replace the diode and maybe that'll be the issue because uh, like I said it runs fine until it gets hot about maybe 10-15 minutes and then it dies so we'll see if we can get out 
easy on the diode thing with that one. If not, then I'll just go bite the bullet and when I've got the money, go buy another uh, $35 coil pack for it and get a, get that one going again. That one runs so smooth, it's not even funny. I was really upset when that one stopped running. And that one I've never had running, the 1024. But yeah, I got four jugs of oil I gotta take down and get recycled. But uh, that one I'm really anxious to get going again. But like I said, I'm looking at $65 for parts. So that one may have to wait a little while unless I can find some rich uncle somewhere that's willing to donate the money. <laughs> but anyway, that's the state of the nation now. Thanks again for the help with this one. I really appreciate it. And kind of smacking me around, let me know I'm kind of dingy with the whole seat switch thing. I can't believe it was something that simple, but at least this one's running now too though so i can get it out and i don't know if i still want to take the motor off and take it down for scrap too or not because uh got a whole trailer full of scrap now but i may still wind up doing it or i may just wind up putting it up on craigslist and seeing what i can get for it there i won't take any less than 100 bucks for the frame because it's worth more than that actually even though I don't have a cent in the thing the only money I've got in it is the gas that I put in it and I've had it two years now well, I'll take that back the belts that I've replaced I've replaced the drive belt on it which is the reason that there's no back on it right now so I didn't put that back on when I replaced it <coughs> but I replaced the drive belt once and the deck belt twice and uh, and the blades once because the ones that were on it when I got it were kind of dull so I got a whole brand new set of those on it too but everything you have to go through Sears for and half the time they don't have what you need but anyway uh, thank you again and I will talk to you guys